Welcome to Raw Online. Today's topic of discussion is temporal fossa and infratemporal fossa. The competency of this topic is describe extent, boundaries and contents of temporal and infratemporal fossa. I am going to discuss the temporal fossa under the following subheadings: introduction, boundaries, communications, contents and applied anatomy. The temporal fossa is the shallow depression. So here you can see this temporal fossa. It is a shallow depression on the temporal region on the side of the skull. So it is present between the temporal lines above. So this is the area of our temporal line. So temporal line above, zygomatic arch below, and the ramus of the mandible below. So this is the temporal fossa. Let's see the boundaries. superiorly and posteriorly so this is the superior aspect and this is the inferior aspect and this is anterior and this is posterior so superiorly as well as posteriorly the boundaries are superior and inferior temporal lines so you can appreciate two temporal lines superior temporal line forms the superior and posterior boundaries so inferior also present in the superior aspect and inferiorly the zygomatic arch so this is the zygomatic arch laterally and the infra temporal crest of sphenoid medially so in between you can appreciate the infra temporal crest of sphenoid here so in this picture you can't appreciate that so it's, uh, but the sphenoid is present underneath this anteriorly the zygomatic arch of frontal bone here so this is the zygomatic arch of frontal bone anteriorly the zygomatic process of frontal bone and the frontal processes of zygomatic bone forms the anterior limit laterally i already i have told the zygomatic arch forms the lateral boundary and the floor is formed by frontal parietal squamous part of temporal as well as the greater wing of sphenoid so this is the floor here you can see the frontal bone and this is the parietal bone and this is the temporal bone and this is the greater wing of sphenoid so these bones forms the floor so here you can appreciate a h shape area this is known as terion we will see what is terion later let's see the communications so the communication is through the zygomatic arch so this is the coronal section of this uh, temporal fossa area so here you can appreciate the uh, superior temporal line here so this is the temporal fossa and this is the zygomatic arch laterally so through the gap between the zygomatic arch it has a communication with the infra temporal fossa so here this is the zygomatic arch so through the zygomatic arch in between the gap between the zygomatic arch it has a communication with the infratemporal fossa so this is the area of our infratemporal fossa let's see the contents so the contents are here you can appreciate a muscle fibers so this is the temporalis muscle which is covered by a temporal fascia we will see the temporalis later at the time of muscles of mastication as well as in the uh, superficial to the temporal fascia we can appreciate the superficial temporal vessels so the contents are temporalis muscle superficial temporal vessels those are superficial to the temporal fascia so temporalis is covered by temporal fascia so the origin of the temporalis muscle also from the temporal fascia and the auriculo temporal nerve that is also superficial to the temporal fascia so these are the contents of the temporal fossa so in this picture we can appreciate the contents and these are the layers of the temple like a scalp the temple also has the layers from superficial to deep the skin and the connective tissue layer as well as the aponeurosis layer of the scalp is continuous in the lateral aspect also so the aponeurosis has blends with the the aponeurotic layer of the scalp blends with the temporal fascia of the temporal fossa so deep to the fascia there is a origin of temporal uh, temporalis muscle so the temporalis muscle takes origin from this area of the squamous part of temporal bone as well as the temporal fascia and the muscle fibers converge and forms the tendon the tendon of the temporalis muscle crosses the gap between the uh, zygomatic arch and re reaches the infra temporal fossa and inserted in the coronoid process the tip as well as the medial surface anterior border of the coronoid process of mandible so the important content in this region is the temporalis it is a muscle of mastication 
So in this picture we can appreciate the temporalis muscle and the fascia covering the temporalis muscles. So the fibers converge downwards and crosses the gap deep to the zygomatic arch and inserted in the coronoid process of mandible. So here we can see the uh, splitting of the temporal fascia. So this green color is the temporal fascia. So the temporal fascia splits and inserted in the anterior and the posterior border of the zygomatic arch. So here this is the temporal fascia which, which is splits and encloses some of the structures near the zygomatic arch. So here we can appreciate that structures. So the gap between the two layers of temporal fascia transmits superficial temporal vessels. and zygomaticotemporal branch of maxillary nerve and some amount of fat. So these are the structures passing in between the uh, two layers of temporal fascia. So in case of uh, some animals, the temporal fascia is thickens. It is both the uh, connective tissue sheath like aponeurosis, it is very thick and, and forms a shell of a, the animal. For example, in tortoise, it forms the shell. So the temporal fascia is very thick and so that can be used as a graft for the rhinoplasty and the meringoplasty surgery.